Hey, Alex, can you hear us? What's up? How you doing? All right, we've got wide receiver Xavier Restrepo here. If you have questions, please use the hand raise function and wait to be called on. We'll start with Adam Lichtenstein from the Sun Sentinel. Adam, go ahead for Xavier. Hey, Xavier. Um, obviously, you know, you and Tyler are very close. Um, what did you see, like, how he kind of handled Saturday's game? You know, he said, you know, it's not my best game. I need to play better. Um, how, how did you see him kind of handle that? And, you know, what did you guys talk about kind of in the aftermath of that game about, you know, what he needs to do better? You know, I mean, he, you know, kind of took everything under under his, you know, under his uh, ownership. And I was like, dude, relax. Like, this is a team effort. Um, and, I mean, the way he responded in the second half was was awesome. Just he, Obviously, we started off slow, you know. Um, but that's just on us, execution and stuff like that. We just got to get better out here on Green Tree. And um, we'll be better next time. Go to Susan Miller-Degnan from the Miami Herald. Susan, go ahead for Xavier. Hi, Xavier. Um, you know, Coach Gaddis was talking about, uh, you know, how it's important to control the game through time of possession, you know, with Texas A&M. And um, I wanted to know if, uh, how, how is a game like this different for the receivers? You know, uh, uh, do you foresee limited touches? Um, you know, therefore, is each touch more important and decisive? And I also have a follow when you're done with that. Oh, yeah, no, I mean... You know, Coach Gaddis has a great game plan. So whatever game plan he brings upon us is what we're going to, you know, prepare for and execute at the highest level. Um, but it's all about just execution. There's nothing too much about changing anything. It's just about executing better. And the other thing is just the other um, young receivers. How are you helping them along? I mean, you're clearly ahead of the game right now. Um, do you see some like one in particular stepping up or what do they have to do? How are they doing? I mean, the whole entire receiver group is doing awesome. You know, um, we're just getting better each day, day, day by day on Green Tree. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Go to Alex Pachachi from WFOR, Alex. Hey, Xavier. I was wondering uh, what your initial thoughts on Texas a and secondary, uh, just based off watching the first couple of days of, uh, days of film. Uh, following the game against Southern Miss? I know guys are really talented. You know, um, guys are one of the best, you know, DB cores in the nation. So we got to respect them, but um, also make them respect you. Marcus Benjamin from Canes County. Marcus? X, I uh, just wanted to talk about how uh, Coach Cristobal said you have to really prove it in practice to kind of get on the field. So kind of regardless of, how old you are, uh, you will get on the field. So how does that really kind of push the older guys to really kind of step up their game? You know, the one of the first things Coach Cristobal ever said that, that there's no job, there's no jobs right now, you know, like everybody has to earn their, earn their role on the team. And um, every role is a big role. So no matter whether it's a special teams role or offensive defense, um, just earn a role and you do that by practicing out on Green Tree, perform at the highest level. Go to Barry Jackson from the Miami Herald. Barry. Hi. I know you guys don't worry about this, but Hurricanes fans and media always point to big games to see if the Hurricanes are back. Do you think these are the types of games that you all need to start winning again on the road against top 25 teams to prove something to the nation? I mean, we don't really need to prove anything. You know, we're just proving ourselves week by week, you know, um, just executing at a high level again and, it's just another college football game. Yes, the, the team that we're reversing this weekend is very, very good. Um, great D-line, great secondary, and um, we got we got to respect them. But at the end of the day, we just got to be 1-0 in everything we do. Thank you. Susan, did you have another one for Xavier? All right, we'll wrap it up. Thanks for your time, X. No, 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 no. I got one. I got one. All right, go, Susan. I Last got question. one. Last X. question for Xavier. Okay. <laughs> X, tell me um, about Keyshawn. I know he got his first catches as a wide receiver. What, you know, what part of his game makes it tough for the defense? I mean, dudes are all, all around talent. You know, Keyshawn's really great. And he, he's getting his um, mental side of the game down way better now. And I feel like that's the biggest improvement that he's um, going through right now. So, I mean... That, guy, that kid obviously, you know, could take the top off defenses with his speed and has great hands. So we're just, again, we're working day by day and just trying to execute at a high level on Saturdays. Thank you. 
All right, for real this time. That's all we